Welcome back everybody, my name is Eltamar and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 3. Where we went off last time, we had just killed the Ac Apostle, Apostle of Miracle, and defeated Kethric Thorm. We have a couple books to read really quickly, and then we have to leave. We're done. We're going to head to the portal to the surface and watch some cutscenes. I think that's what we're going to get done. The Grand Design. Dictated to scribe Yanthus by Enver Gortash, the Grand Design is the Mind Flayer's species-wide ambition to return to the days of their conquering greatness through an act of sudden mass seramorphosis, giving the Elder Brain in overall command an implacable army of illithid slaves or slave warriors with which to defeat all their old enemies, human and humanoid Githyanki and Ulitharid. Of course, this is delusional madness, megalomania, on a cosmic scale, and I know just how to turn it to our purposes. We're going to help the Mind Flayers enact their grand design, but only in the way that suits us. The Illithids shall have their crusade to enslave, but they will be acting in turn as our slaves, and we shall determine how, when, and where of their great Illithid outbreak. To be precise, I, Gortesh, will determine these things, as commanding the grand design is clearly a Bainite task. Okay, well, let's read the... Oh, that's not the right one. The Absolute End. Underneath this book... Concerning the cult of the Absolute and the dangers it presents is scrawled this response to the text. This hastily written drivel is admittedly well-intentioned, its author clearly fizzing with fear of the Absolute. The problem is that they conflate the rise of the cult with other things like the heat death of the universe, the resurrection of one-eyed Vecna the Lich, the proliferation of necromatic ex excess, and even the withering of some imported fruits from cult. This person needs a glass of water and to lie down. Funny. Alright, let's roll. Let's leave. It's time to go. We have done all of Act 2, I think. To the best of my knowledge, we've done all of Act 2. Here we go. Time to go to the surface and get our kudos for our great victory, maybe. Hopefully. You saw Gortash, didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down there? Is all of this because of him? The tadpole. The absolute. How? It seems he's a servant of Bane, as Kethric served Miracle. Who knows what powers he's gained since you knew him? I'd never have protected a Baneite even a decade ago. I looked after that fucker with my life. I trusted him. He gave me away to Zariel without a second thought. And now he's looking to ruin the entire Sword Coast. He has to die. <laughs> And I'm gonna be the one who kills him! We'll do it together, whatever it takes. He can't get away with what he's done. To me. To us. He won't get away with it. Okay. Gale wants to talk as well. We're gonna pause for just two seconds here. Sorry about the brief pause there. Let's talk to Gale and see what he wants to say. I can't help but feel like I've been fumbling in the dark for too long. And I've just had a lit torch thrust into my hands. What are you talking about? The crown! The one the Elder Brain was wearing. The one I very nearly destroyed. Netherese magic. So pure, so complete, that I didn't even recognize it at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power, the ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but no matter, it exists. I must learn more of it. You nearly killed yourself back there. Perhaps take a moment. I know what nearly happened, and I'm sorry for putting you in that position, but I've stepped back from the precipice now. I've seen what may prove to be another way, a better way. That crown sits on a gargantuan elder brain bent on destroying us and everything we hold dear. Understanding its true nature might unlock the means of our victory. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it, 
We'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep. Sorcerer's Sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can. Why would a Baldurian magic shop be the first place we look? Ha! <laughs> Sorcerer's Sundries is no mere trading post. It's been serving the arcane community for centuries. Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. <laughs> Nether East texts are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. Okay. Anyone else to talk to? We definitely should talk to Jahira. And I guess Withers is here as well. Our enemies spread like rub rot. Treat one patch, and two more bloom in its place. An elder brain bound by lost Nethery's magic with servants of the dead three holding the chain. <laughs> Reminds me of old times. You seem almost like you're enjoying yourself. Actually, you've tangled with the dead three before? Extensively. Mind flares, too. But I never dreamed of seeing gods and illithids working in consort. It is most disturbing. But take courage. We have killed a man who could not die and stripped the Absolute's army of its general. You have a nether stone. And you're on the scent of two more. These chosen have reason to fear you and I would like to be at your side when you confront them. I'd be glad to have you by my side. Glad to be there. Falling foul of Ketherick convinced me that my grand adventures were behind me. That even if I survived, I should hang up my blades. But you convinced me otherwise. We ventured into darkness together. Now we've come out the other side. I'd say I'm feeling a little refreshed. When we reach Baldur's Gate, there will be even darker paths to tread. I will follow you wherever they lead. I will see you at camp then. How does it compare to a shadow cursed inn? It's with the absolute the same. army gone, the risen road should be clear. We can follow it all the way to Baldur's Gate. There's a Harper's safe house in Worms Crossing. Dentalan's Dancing X. We do well to check in with them before entering the city proper. Beyond that, our course is yours to set. Find me at your camp, huh? I can remember how to take orders, as well as give them. Super. All right, anyone else to talk to? Ars Kulog. I guess we could talk to him. We saved his life. Use Karlak, our talker. When Duke Elton formed the Flaming Fist, he sought out people of courage and honor to fill its ranks. You saved Daniel, lifted the curse, and killed an immortal. Mm -hmm. It's safe to say you'd have been recruited in an instant. I grew up hearing stories of Duke Elton. I'm curious about what he was like. Gruff and intimidating. But he had the courage of ten men, and the love for Baldur's Gate few could match. I don't know if this Duke Ravenguard is the same, but I will say this. The Flaming Fist are the cornerstone of the city, and the Dukes are its foundation. I hope you can save him, for the good of Baldur's Gate. Come with me, I could use the Flaming Fist by my side. Thank you, but look at me. I am a relic, a glimpse of history barely strong enough to stand on his own two feet. Besides, Nathaniel should have someone here when he wakes up. It's the least I can do. Alrighty. I wish you luck, and thank you for your help. You too, my friend. Thank you. From Nathaniel and I. You got it. Alright, anyone else to talk to that we want to? A couple of Harpers, nope. 
Dame Aelin for sure, and maybe Helsin. Where's Zevlor? Quartermaster Tally is out there. Let's go talk to Dame Aelin first. Aelin! Isabel! Your body. I'm here. And and so are you. And my father, he he can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me. But somehow it was all a nightmare dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. Oh, that's adorable. Ah, oh, there you are. This is Aelin. Aelin, this is. Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy, and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew, and we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later? You'd be most welcome. We look forward to it. You there, Sharon. By the fires of your camp's hearth, we will discuss all we must. I'll be ready. Whatever you have to say had better be worth your life. Now you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Oh. Aelin! We'll see you later. Well, okay then. We'll leave them to do their thing. Let's go talk to Helson. Nathaniel rests well. He's healing very rapidly, now that Oliver has returned to him. So when will the curse actually be lifted? I can't say for certain, but we'll see it come to pass long before this place recedes behind us. Don't worry. All is at hand. We can depart whenever you're ready. Okay. What happened to Oliver exactly? Did Thaniel absorb him? No more than my right hand can absorb my left. Oliver is helping Thaniel to recover. They both lie dormant, like trees awaiting spring. Once the curse is lifted, they can stand as one or as a pair. Whatever they wish, I hope they will remain as a pair. It will be good for them both to have a friend once I'm gone. Still, I would like to return here someday. See Thaniel and Oliver again. In my meditations, or perhaps in person. If the Oak Father wills it. I hope he does. Glad I could help. I knew I could put my faith in you. If only we had met sooner. What now? You got what you wanted, after all. I have. But perhaps there is more that I want. Anyway, once the curse is lifted, nature can take its course without me. I belong at your side. I'm glad to have you. And I'm glad to be had. Glad to be with you, I mean. Okay, bye. Uh, that's just Flaming Fist with no hey. names. We've already talked to... Uh... 
him. What about Harper Antony? I guess we can talk to him. There'll be plenty of dead to mourn when this is done. But songs to sing to. Okay. Harper Nisa. Ketherick's done. I don't know. I can't but that arm is already on the move. This isn't done yet. I clicked too fast and didn't get the name. Alright, Ceres. Back in last light. I was racking my brains. How the hells do we get past the curse? And then a blinding light cuts through the darkness like a blade through butter. All thanks to you, I hear. Didn't think we'd make it without the old L rider to lead us. But you did a damn fine job. I freed Zevlor down in the colony. I wouldn't be so quick to write him off as dead. I would. He didn't have any fight left in him. He went his own way. I don't think he could face me or all of you. Briefest hesitation as Ceres wars with old loyalties and wins. I looked up to him. We all did. But he let us down when we needed him most. There are less mouths to feed, but we still need supplies for the road. We'll scavenge what we can. Hopefully, we'll see you again in the city. Okay. Anyone else? Elfira is up here. You're here. Good. That's good. Are you all right? Me? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just worried about the kids. Maul is still missing, and they haven't taken it too well. I've been trying to cheer them up. We're writing a song together. But I think they're just humoring me. I'm sure they appreciate it. Oh! Oh, I have an idea! Why don't we play together? Sure, ready when you are. Yes! I've missed this. If you can't keep up, don't take it to heart. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, you want to... Oh, I see. You actually want to play the music. Uh... What is she playing? There we go. How long are we supposed to play this for? I'm gonna give it a sec. Okay. That was a blast. Thank you. I hope we get to play again sometime soon. You got it. All right, let's talk to the children. Miss Elfira wants to write us a song about you fighting Ketherick. But I missed Mole. I found Mole's eye patch. What? Where is she? Hey, calm down. I'm sure she just dropped it. Mole's fine, I promise. You think so? Mole is really clever. I hope she finds us again soon. She definitely made a deal with Raphael, didn't she? Alfira's writing us a song. A stupid song won't bring Mole back. Tell her, won't you? We already did the whole Mole's eye patch thing. Let's leave them to their stuff. There's Quartermaster Tally out here, and then I think we can just go. I think it's time. Just tell me what you need. I just want to see what you have for trade. Do you have any bombs? That's all I care about. Yes. Yes. More explosives. That's exactly what I want and need. Lady like. Uh. Orcus Root is out here. Maybe we can talk to him about joining our team. There you are. I was wondering where the devil you'd been. That was preoccupied defeating Catherick Thorm. Who? Oh, right. Well, forget about that, McGungus. We have more important things to worry about. Like Walbrin. What about him? Walbrin and the Iron Hand Gnomes are planning something dreadful in the city. They have room powder. They have motive. We have to stop them. 
Leave it to me, Barkus. Actually, is... No. It seems like we'll have our hands full in Baldur's Gate. With the sword of justice in one hand and the shield of self-righteousness in the other, we most certainly will. To saving the city. And my fool of a friend. Wait, Barkus, are you a store? Can we buy things from you? I'll be you? seeing you at your camp. Okay, well, maybe we can buy things at the camp. Then, Wolverine, let's talk to you. Maybe we can talk you out of your dumb things. I owe you an apology. Or what? I saw you as a means to escape. Nothing more. But when the sky lit up, when I followed it here, I knew you were behind it. I apologize for not seeing your true worth and for being, quite frankly, rude in last light. Apology accepted. I wasn't sure you would. I appreciate it. And that's precisely why I want you by my side in Baldur's Gate. The Iron Hand gnomes are going to save the city. And you can be part of it. I'm going to detect thoughts on him. Actually, doing a job without information is a surefire way to get caught. Spill. Let's rogue this up. The plan is what it's always been. To bring the work and innovations of the Iron Hand gnomes to every corner of the realm. Problem is, Baldur's Gate is sick. Once the pinnacle of greatness, it's eating itself alive to save itself from starving. Find me in the city. And once you see what it's become, you'll know that I, and I alone, can stop it. Sounds a lot like that. Ooh, there's a shield there. An iron bandit shield plus one. I'm going to take that. Thank you kindly. Um, sounds a lot like the quest in... Uh, Divinity Original Sin 2. Where... The dwarves were going to blow up the city with... Death Fog. Not so much blow up the city, we but... We leave the heart of the Absolute alive. Thanks to you, you did well to defeat Ketherick. But Ketherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead, and they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. I already have allies. You have the makings of a leader. Your actions have already inspired those around you. Jahira's wisdom will be an asset to you on the journey ahead. Her harpers, too. Halsin's strength and loyalty will bolster you in times of need. But if we are to succeed, we will need others. Will there be anyone left when we arrive in the city? Even if the buildings are demolished, there are always survivors. There are always those who will fight. Okay. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute, the Chosen, all. Right then, let's leave. It's time to go. It wants us to go all the way up to... Well, it still wants us to investigate the last light in. I'm going to go back there and just see what it wants us to investigate. I don't think there's anything left, like... Does it want us to just stand on the top of this thing? Is there something... We missed in here? Feels weird coming back here when it's completely empty. Yeah, it's really weird. There's no one around. Actually, that's not true. Look. There are like two people left. Did they not want to leave or. Half this place cleared out when the sky lit up. 
I'm staying put until I know what's what. I suggest you do the same. I don't think I've ever seen Harpers move so fast. What in the hells is going down at Moonrise? I mean, everyone else is gone. It's just so weird that there are like three people left here. Whoever or whatever is causing that light is on our side. I have no doubt. Well, okay, we've explored Last Light. I don't know what it wants us to do here, but I also don't think it's a big deal. Let's move on to the road to Baldur's Gate. It's time to leave Act 3 for good. I'm going backwards, aren't I? I sure am. I'm going back in. To Baldur's Gate to Act 3. This is very exciting. We'll probably get a good... You know what? I'm just going to type something in here. Uh, what does it want us to do for this? I'm just going to check. This is the last thing we have to do here, so I just want to make sure that we don't screw it up. Investigate the last light in... Either. To the basement of the Mason's Guild north of the Toll House. So there is something we've missed. Okay. You know what? I'm willing to go on a little bit of faith here. We're gonna go this way. It says we need to go into the basement underneath the. Mason Skilled, we need a book. I am legitimately curious as to what it wants us to do. There's no quest thing for here, and there's nothing like written in this quest thing. If we look at it, it just says. Don't even know where it is on here. Whatever. So it wants us to go here and find the Mason's Log. I thought I already read the Mason's Log, did I not? And perhaps not. But I don't know where to go. Not really. See, I think what I might do is just go explore around a little bit. Oh, it's a pulley. Maybe there's something over here. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm going to look around. Just make sure I didn't miss anything in the Mason's Guild. For a logbook, but I'm not seeing any way to get into one. That said... Give me two seconds. Okay, I think I figured it out. There's a door. In the last light in. This took me a little bit. To look around for. It wasn't the Mason thing, it was this thing. There's a cellar that we didn't go explore. Oh, this is where we'd get put if we were arrested. Well, there's two evidence chests here and one of them is locked. Let's open up the locked one. To the left. And... and what does it have inside? It has a healing potion. I'll Hello. take it. There's also a key. Let's snag that detention cell key. Though it doesn't look like there's anything else around. There's a survival check. We found something. Okay. 
Well, we do have a key, so let's go take a look in these cells. Maybe there's something of note. There's a weird... There's a wall we can hit with something. Come on, let's go. Is that enough things? Okay. I can see on the map that there was an outline of a wall there. Luckily, it's pretty easy to break open, so that's at least a thing. Double metal doors. Where does this lead? Not a hard roll, considering we just don't have to critically fail twice. Um. Well, this is interesting. Let's take a look around. There's a, a river. That pipe has seen better days and has completely fallen down. There is a trapped chest here. Which was a very easy disarm for us. And it's locked, of course. We got a ring. Not seeing anything else down here. I don't even know if this was the quest. Well, there's a door. Let's go take. Let's save before we go through the random door. Although, this has been going pretty uneventfully so far. Oops. I feel like we've been here before. Oh, no, what are these? We definitely haven't been here before. I don't know what I just did. I went up knotted roots to... The root? Oh, hey! This is that house that someone meant that I found when someone told me to go north previously. We could have gone down into here. Okay, well, there's other ways to get in here apparently, so let's... Let's stealth and go see if we can fight these things. They shouldn't be too hard, I can't imagine. I mean, we have killed Kethrick and they are only level 6. They do have a fear aura, which could be annoying. Need to learn the hard way. One of them died. The rest of them found us. Okay. But not everyone, just her. We've become part of the fight. So there are five of them left, it looks like. And somebody's paralyzed. I think Karlak is paralyzed. That was terrible. Okie dokie. They're pretty cool looking. What are they? Mean locks. They look kind of like a mixture between a crab and a zergling. Annoyingly, we are feared. I missed. Concentrate. Uh, we are immobilized. We are going to be resting soon, I imagine. It's always a long rest when we travel, so let's just do this. Um, can we not move? Oh, I see. We don't have an action point. We have mean lock fear. Aren't we immune to frighten though? Okay, well, mean lock fear is dead and gone, but we don't have any action points, anyways. Carlac can shoot at either mean lock. It doesn't really make a difference. 
That one's dead. It's the big room. Lots of mean locks. That one took a good amount of damage. And we missed anyways. Oh, that was Gale's turn. Oops. For some reason I thought that was Shadowheart. My bad. Ow. Uh. Oh, there we go. We still lost our action. I guess the fear is just killing our action points. Let's take care of that one. Pretty okay damage there. This one's coming in. Hopefully to die as well. We got hit again. We missed. That's fine. Nine damage. Can we move down closer to these things? Nope, because we're frightened. What is going on with my actions? I can't just burn all of my points. Double miss. Brutal. We're taking a ton of damage from this. But again, we'll probably get to rest soon. Maybe? Hopefully? Okay. Well, we did the thing. We still are unable to move because we were paralyzed. Maybe that's why we couldn't do anything. We were paralyzed? Did these have anything on them? No, not really. Let's go in. There's something called Halfred's Note here. And there's a last oh, light side entrance soon. key. I might have sneered at this once. Or tried to destroy it. Hidden among amidst columns detailing the income and expenditure of a tavern is an aside written in tiny urgent handwriting. I've concealed the sacred relics of a revered goddess in the darkest corner of this place. Morfred, my loyal brother, seeks to forge a network of allies to stand against the oppressive reign of Cethric Thorm. Sadly, fear has gripped the hearts of many, turning them away from our cause. I cannot truly blame them. Her trepidation fills my soul as well. But I must put aside my own fears and reunite with Morfred in the bowels of the Mason's Guild. Together we shall preserve what we can of the Moon Maiden's light and hope that the banners of the faithful soon rise against the treacherous dog Thorm. Okay, now we have an idea of where to go. The Mason's Guild. Okay, the bowels of the Mason's Guild. How hard could it possibly be to find that? Let's go check. No, we're on the wrong way. Let's go check one more time. Maybe now we have like a little quest marker to help us along. No, of course not. That'd be too easy. This is the waning moon. I think we didn't go far enough this way. I'm going the wrong direction entirely, aren't I? I 100% am. Let's just go back. We need to go this way. Okay. So we need to go to the bowels. We're looking for some sort of hatch or elevator or something along those lines. Not seeing anything in this initial room. I just want to miss something cool, you know? Just gonna kind of glance around a little bit. There's gotta be something. Nothing under that thing. 
There's some bricks here, but that's not super helpful. Get a little outbuilding here with a literal outhouse. Looks like a, oh, the, we're now at the toll house. We've gone the wrong way. Okay, let's continue this side of things. Gotta be something. Oh, here's something. There's an ornate wooden hatch here. Alright, let's go see that. That might be the thing we're looking for. Okay, we've made it downstairs. This is something new. There's an elevator. Don't know how to use that yet. There is a wooden trunk and stuff. Alright, let's go try the elevator and see what happens. Okay, well we wouldn't ele or we elevatored. Fingers crossed we don't have meet oh, wait, where are we? Uh okay. I don't think we were supposed to take that elevator back up, to be honest. Let's go back down there again. How did what building was that even in? It wasn't this one. There it is over there. Okay. We go back down. We must not hit hit the elevator. We must just look around. Is there a wall? That one, the wall, looks a little weird. Maybe we blow up a wall. And the perception check. Oh, there's a key thing. Well, we're going to not lock back with her. DC 18. That shouldn't be too hard for Karlak to get through. Almost. I'll throw guidance on just to make it a little easier. But I don't foresee any problems. Note from the Mason. Let's read that. It says, Congratulations on finding this place, Thief, but your journey ends here. Oh, did we not get the right path? There's a giant room here. a huge area. Oh, that's not so good. Okay, what are these? Shadows and wraiths. Okay, we've killed lots of those before. That shouldn't be too big of a deal, unless we miss our attacks. Okay, that's fine. Probably should have healed our character. Let's let them come to us. Aura of Vile Oblivion. That sounds fun. Dark Currents. Did it just come all the way up here? Wow. What's in this room? Some stuff on the table. There's a chest over there. That might be useful. Some bookshelves and things. Okay. Uh, let's just... Spear Guardian? Sure. Move up here. We don't really have a whole lot in the way of healing left. We're just kind of getting by with the... That was a huge firebolt hit. Well, that one just died. Okay, next up. Where are all the shadows? Are they all invisible? They are all shadow blended. We have to wait for them to come to us. Because I have no idea where they are. There's one. Well, there's another one. And there's one way over there. Okay. It just took a ton of damage. Okay. Let's jump down. 
Not enough movement. Can I jump? There we go. No, didn't work. Let's just dash. That works. I don't know where the other shadows are, so we just wait it out again. There's one over here somewhere. Bring the drain dust. That's not very cool. It's right here somewhere. How long does that last for? Oh, just a couple turns. Okay. And that's the end of the fight. Just has to kind of walk into them. All right, there's Mason's letter and Mason's log. Let's read that. Alfred, you're probably surprised that I'm writing, though no more surprised than me. You warned me of Thorm's malice, yet I took up hammer and trowel to build that cursed tower. You warned me of the coming war, yet I built the prison that would contain his foes. You warned me, and I did not listen. It is my deepest regret, and I must atone. I know more about the tower's construction than anyone, and possess innumerable tools and supplies besides. Gather your allies at last light, and let us devise a plan to infiltrate Moonrise. Ketherick plans for war. He expects to face halberds and staves in the light of day. We will end him with a dagger to the back before he can so much as raise a blade. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I hope that you'll try. Your brother, Morfred. There's also a book called Mason's Log. How quickly things change. The Thorms are Selunite through and through, or so I believed. Perhaps Ketherick only converted for Melodia. And with her death, then his daughters, his faith died too, but to turn to Shar, it beggars belief. Ketherick's justiciers are growing greater in number, and more determined to root out any traces of Salune in Wraithwind. Why do they think this town was built? One cannot rip out the foundations of a building, and expect it to remain standing. Brother and I remain the last two bastions of Our Lady of Silver in the town. A few, the trusting few, come to worship in secret by moonlit nights. Others convert converts all. Whether they truly believe, I cannot say. Impossible, isn't it? Sick of standing idle while judiciers gain power in our humble town. What would become of us if we allow it? I met a man who was no man, touched by a devil, or maybe worse, but he offered me something I couldn't refuse. Help. The time is now. Ketherick's judiciers, their stronghold in the temple below, they'll be wiped out, all of them. I didn't ask how, I just want them gone. Let the Harpers have it, Ketherick, now. They'll make sure it works with him. And we finally completed the quest in question. That is a trapped chest. Let's go disarm it and see what's inside. DC 21. And it's locked too, because why wouldn't it be? DC 14, easy enough. A helmet of arcane acuity. Which I'm not going to use because it's basically the same helmet we found before. Bunch of silver things. And I think we're done our quest. Now we can finally leave. We can finally go the road to Baldur's Gate. We can head out. This was a much longer exit than I thought it was going to be. But we did complete a quest. And I am happy we did so because it was annoying me that we couldn't figure it out. It's now time. And we're in camp, but no one apparently wants to talk. I'm going to guess there's going to be a lot of conversation once we go to bed, though. Oh. Somebody in our camp wants to speak to us. Where exactly? What part of our camp? Oh, down there. The Dame. Dame Elin. Seems like a good moment to talk. What do you know about me? You spoke of my past. Being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shaz... Secrets. 
Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point! When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others. Someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. Open your mind to the sensation. Your mind joins with Shadowheart's. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. Do you not see yourself in him? Do you not recognize your own blood? My father. That was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young. Impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My parents... I need to save them. I will help. Your parents are with your abductors. You will need to return to their lair. But be warned. You may have once thought of them as comrades. Mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. The Spear of Night? I thought that was cast into the Shadowfell. I was able to retrieve it before it sank too far into Shah's umbral domain. Shah is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. But I felt it call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will find it useful. What you do with it, that will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. It hurts. Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. What does that mean exactly? Will wants to talk. We should probably talk to Will. Although he doesn't have an exclamation mark on the map. Gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. 
The Absolute's cult has Ravenguard. Well, where, where will they take him? Worms Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's armies on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. What do you know about Gortash and Orin? Orin? I'd never heard tell of. But Gortash I know. Or know of, more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way Father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these Chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. Mizora said that you can say what led to your pact in exile. It's time I know the whole truth. Yes, but first a question. If your home were under siege, what would you sacrifice to save it? I would give up my life if it meant keeping the residents safe. As would I. And more. I was 17. Father, older Ravenguard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elturel to help settle a dispute. That's when the cult of the dragon made its move. What is the cult of the dragon? Never heard of him. A religion devoted to conjuring the most evil of goddesses, the dragon Tiamat. A ten day after Father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Dusk Hawk Hill. The Queen of Chaos awakens. Go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. <laughs> there wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. Allow Will to share his memory with us. In the looming shadow of the mount, five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved, and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. The first of Tiamat's five heads. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul and I will give you the power to save it. She whispers. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. Surely Mizora doesn't care about Baldur's Gate. Why would she want to save it? She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zariel. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mizora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. Sacrificing your soul to save the city was a brave thing to do. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. The moment I agreed, I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound, and my lips were sealed. Is that how you lost your eye in the battle with the Cult of the Dragon? It is. The one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone. She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world, or the depths of the lower dark, and still never shake her. Alright, I'm gonna head off. Thanks. I think that is the last person that wanted to talk. It doesn't look like anyone else does. 
Let's watch the zone transition cutscene and then we're done our video. Shadowheart doesn't want to talk, but that will be next time. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.